come in all shapes and sizes, many of them works of art, especially if you keep building on them. What kid doesn't like Legos, from creating whatever the mind can think of to your favorite TV sitcom? And it's definitely the perfect go-to toy during this COVID-19 pandemic. To keep the kids occupied while they're stuck inside with nothing to do. Jessica Ragizi Ewood has turned Lego building into an art. Get your classic kits ready. I'm a mixed media artist and I stumbled upon a Lego. I'd always thought of Lego as, uh, you know, a kid's toy. Um, but as an artist, I was looking at it differently. I was looking at it as an art media. And you may have seen her work on TV as well as at Legoland. I got selected out of thousands of people to be on the Lego Masters. My peacock is on display at Legoland. And now she's taking her Lego art virtual and teaching classes. Right now I'm offering some really awesome classes on OutSchool. I try and make my uh, classes as engaging and creative as possible because I feel, you know, when uh, kids are stuck inside, you know, the best thing they can do is be creative. And she makes her Lego classes educational as well. Space classes tomorrow, the best one. Everyone loves space. We're going to be learning about different planets tomorrow. The final act of our talent show comes from New York, and it's something this woman has been working on for decades. She's not afraid of a challenge, that's for sure. I want to be busy all the time. What's puzzling is how Josephine Battaglia got hooked on this hobby in the first place. I was bored watching TV. You know, I always have to do things. Well, once she started, she couldn't stop. And the friends and family kept giving me puzzles for Mother's Day, birthday, Christmas. Joe's been doing jigsaw puzzles for a long time. I started on a card table. And then as the puzzles got bigger, I had to get a larger table. She's put together more than 50 of these mind benders. You need a lot of patience. Her finished puzzles hang throughout her home. This was a tough one, very tough. This is the only thing that was easy right in here. A testament to the hours and hours and hours of work. Well, it took years, but uh, kept adding on and adding on. And these are no beginner puzzles. This one has 2,000 pieces, and <laughs> all the pieces look alike. Joe says she'll be working on this one for quite a while. Oh, this one's going to be all winter, probably. Sometimes people stop by to help. Well, try to help. They look at the puzzle, find maybe one piece, and walk away. She has a lot of interest besides jigsaw puzzles, knitting, baking. I golfed up until two years ago, but had to give that up because of a little health issues. Besides her puzzle passion, Josephine holds a special distinction around here. I'm the oldest citizen in the village of Farnham and the town of Brant. At age 98, you get the idea that Joe B., as her friends call her, not only isn't afraid of a challenge, she welcomes it. I just love to do them. I've done them for years. We met so many talented people today. Discover more positivity on GoodToKnowTV.com. The good stuff is out there. Isn't that good to know?